This is a desk clock made by the self-winding clock company for the Western Union Time Service. This clock is powered by a battery and winds automatically every hour. It can be connected to a Western Union telegraph line to be synchronized via a time signal from the Naval Observatory. This great looking clock was not available for sale, only for rent. They were rented by Western Union for $1.50 a month. They were first available in the mid 1930s. This advertising brochure shows the three models that were available. On a desk or in a boardroom, it keeps you on time for all appointments. Here you can see that I followed their suggestion and I have one of the desk clocks on my desk. It's pretty obvious that a small clock requires a small movement. The self-winding clock company rotary and style F movements are much too big. So here's what they came up with. A movement that is a smaller version of the F movement with a small winding motor added at the bottom. A balance wheel escapement is necessary. There is certainly no room for a pendulum. The escapements are made by Hamilton and have 11 jewels. The movement rewinds each hour and has a synchronizing coil designed to receive a synchronizing signal to assure Naval Observatory accuracy. These individual images of the movement make it easier to appreciate the components. This is essentially a small style F movement with a small motor added to the bottom. This is the motor rewinding the mainspring. Just as the F movement, it has a cam that revolves once an hour, triggering the winding motor to rewind the mainspring. Okay, now watch as the synchronizing coils are activated. The synchronizing lever positions the hands to exactly the hour. These clocks came with two different types of winding motors. Both run on 1.5 volts DC. On the left is a small sealed electric motor. Here polarity is important. These motors seem to be very reliable. The motor on the right is different. It has exposed brushes that contact the commutator spinning the rotor. Polarity is unimportant, but excessive commutator wear can be a problem. As far as the movement goes, the movement itself is trouble free. Not many of these great little clocks have survived. They can be placed anywhere. They do not have to be wound and one D cell battery will run them for about a year. Certainly more interesting than a quartz movement desk clock. Thank you for watching. If these videos are helpful, please click the thumbs up. Thanks.